This public hearing is now being called to order at 6 p.m. on April 10th, 2024. This hearing is being held as required by the provisions of the Chapter 131, Section 40 of the General Laws of the Commonwealth and Act relative to the protection of the wetlands as most recently amended. <clears throat> Notice of the time and place of this hearing was published in the Fahaven Neighborhood News on March 7th and April 4th, 2024. It was also posted in the town, town clerk's office. Persons wishing to be heard will be called in the following order. Also, just a reminder, this meeting is being recorded and will be available on the Accushion YouTube channel for future viewing. Uh, meeting, minutes for approval, there are none. Meeting mail. Memo from the Town Administrator, Board of Selectmen, are calling for, for an annual town meeting on Monday, June 3rd, 2024 at 7 p.m. Deadline for submission of articles approved for approval by the select board is Friday, March 15th by noon. Uh, right. uh, old business. Continued public hearing, RDA, Paul Boucher, 7 Morton Lane, Map 14, Lots 17H, 15H and 17. A request for determination was filed by Paul Boucher for property located at 7 Morton Lane, Map 14, Lots 15, H, and 17, the applicant proposes to construct an 8 by 12 shed within the 100 foot buffer zone of a bordering vegetated wetland. Plan name is Topographic As Built Plan dated March 25th, 2023. Review of matters presented, votes may be taken. This is continued from the March 13th meeting. Is there a motion to open the public hearing? Motion so, to open. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Hi. I guess. Hi. You know, you want to come to the Just give, give an overview. So, what do you want to know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah, so we have segments on Saturday. So basically, it's an 8 by 12 shed for you know, garden stuff, and I don't know how much more you want to know. Yeah. No. No. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. Uh, Paul, Paul had reached out to me earlier, uh, a couple months ago, and asked me if you should file. I recommended it, you know. Well, yeah, because, yes. Yeah, I agree. You know, looking at stuff from overhead, it wasn't on the original plans. Um, it's a simple shed. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, anybody from the public? He had uh, speak on that project, no? Any comments from the commission? So are we just gonna approve it or something? Or it's just a convenience thank you. Yeah, no. Um, all right, so I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Is there a second? second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I'll entertain a motion to issue a negative determination for seven Morton Lane. So moved. Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. You guys are all set. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Have a good one. Okay. Just be patient. Yeah. We, we'll, we're, we're a little behind schedule. Oh, no. I'm trying to check out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. No rush. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. New business. Buzzards Bay Coalition. Limited duration non-transferable license, conservation land of utter encroachment, Matter Poison Road. Review of matters presented, votes may be taken. Uh, Mr. Decker, yep. the floor is yours. Uh, I, I haven't uh, briefed the commission on any of this, so. Fair enough. So. First off, good evening, uh, Alan Decker. I'm with Buzzard Bay Coalition, and the reason for being with you this evening is to just bring your attention to uh, an issue on property that we own here in town upon which the commission holds for the town conservation restriction. So um, what I'd like to do, Mr. Chair, is hand up maps, which will always tend to help with this situation, so if you don't mind, I've got to should be one for everybody. If not, so this is uh, you, members of the commission, 
that have been on the on the commission for a while will remember. Does everybody everybody got one? Okay. We'll remember this particular property that's outlined in red. It's this 58 acre parcel. We refer to it as Trips Mill Brook, but we acquired it from the uh, Hawes family um, back in June of last year. And I was with you talking about the project because we were using to help with the purchase price of the property, um, a state grant that required us to then find a, a entity to hold the conservation restriction over the property and that was in this case you guys the well, the commission on behalf of the town and so we we closed on the transaction and as part of preparing in, in the conservation restriction was done at essentially the same time we acquired on the 26th of june and the cr was recorded uh, on june 30th um, of last year in the run-up to getting ready for closing we prepared a baseline documentation report the Commission has a set has a copy of this that is meant to show existing conditions and the status of the property at the time the conservation restriction is put in place so we worked that up and brought it in and um, the chair at the time, Mr. Rocha, reviewed it and, and signed it and everything. And as I said, the commission has a, has a copy of it. We did have a survey done as part of the transaction that is now showing the outline. That's how I know it's 57.79 acres. But it's, it's that, parcel, that parcel there in red with the two extensions that uh, give frontage on Mattapoisett Road. <coughs> and then a, a little bit of frontage on the cul-de-sac known as, as Holly Ave. This is property for the public. This is property on Mattapoisett Road down very close to the, uh, the uh, intersection with um, Fairhaven and Mattapoisett. So it's, it's um, uh, Trips Mill Brook cuts across it. Um, and it's owned by us, but it's publicly accessible and it's meant for conservation purposes and aquifer drinking or drinking water because Trips Mill Brook runs into ultimately the uh, Tinkham Pond, which then runs to Mount Poisson River. So, a um, little bit of background. So, in any case, as I said, we had a surveyor uh, prepare a survey of the pl of the property, and in in walking the bounds, we came across um, an area where there was a structure. In this case, it was a small barn. The run of the line. We didn't know exactly where it was at the time, but we took took pictures. A picture it's of the of the structure. It, it was in the in the baseline, um, and then we had the surveyor flag the line so that we knew exactly where it was. And it 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 showed once that was done that this barn, uh, small barn, about 500 square feet, was actually on our on the property that we acquired. So that's an encroachment and so we began to work the work work with uh the landowner to to resolve the situation um we we were not we're not interested in having structures on the property so uh at at a, in the initial contact we immediately notified the landowner and the property that we're talking about has the yellow dot on it it's um it's up there right on the curve of, of Mattapoisett Road. Landowner was, um, was very cordial. We had a friendly discussion with him. He didn't realize where the property line was once it was flagged. Uh, he indicated um, compliance or, or in, in indicated a willingness to work with us and, and remove, remove the structure and a few other items that were um, associated with it. Uh, in in the area on, on our property he just asked for some time to accomplish the removal he said he was going to need to have um, he couldn't disassemble and move the barn himself that he would need a contractor to help him do that we were amenable to that gave him um, an amount of time um, 90 days 120 I don't remember exactly which but uh, the point being uh, there was there was compliance on, on on his side and on our side willingness to give him the time to do this get it removed um, 
as, as fall progressed, we got back in touch. He said he still needed more time. He hadn't located a, a contractor. We were willing to, to do that. And in trying to determine the amount of time, we got back in touch with him. And uh, very shortly thereafter, we received a phone call from an attorney representing the landowner saying that uh, it was it was he believed he the attorney believed that his client had a strong adverse possession case <coughs> based on the length of time that the uh, the structure had been there we had done some initial investigation into town records and and found that a building permit had been issued for the structure and that he was being taxed for the improvement uh, despite it being on uh, the, the other property, the abutting property at the time, our, the property that we now own. Um, so we <coughs> consulted on our end, we consulted a number of, of different land use attorneys about the adverse possession claim and it's, it's, a, it's a strong case and so the landowner and the attorney indicated a willingness to figure out a solution that would that would work for everyone involved meaning us the town is as the the CR holder and so what was proposed was as this uh, as the agenda item mentions a limited duration non-transferable license and um, Mr. Resendez was involved in discussions about this it has come to pass that the landowner is amenable to to this license use which is limited duration which simply means what he's asked is that the barn be allowed to stay where it is for the duration of his lifetime his wife's lifetime or that they convey the property out of their ownership so limited duration it's not permanent it's not going to stay there forever um, and the license allows simply the maintenance of the existing barn no expansion of it and no different use than what he's currently using it for which is as you might imagine storage of a variety of, of a variety of items so um, it's a it's a good result because it's not a permanent situation it might be lengthy in, in a number of years but there is a limitation to the extent of it it will end at that time it's either he's removed it before um, before the time runs or at that time we will undertake the removal of it when it when it's when uh, both the landowner and his wife have died or um, they have conveyed the property to someone else that that is another indicator another limitation on, on the license so the reason for being here tonight was to discuss it, bring this, discuss this with you as a, as a commission in full. And um, I'm, I'd like to get a vote on the record of your concurrence with this solution that will end this encroachment at, at some point in the, in the, in the future. Um, I obviously don't know how long but um, it's not permanent and not forever so um, happy to answer questions you might have about this and uh, and I appreciate the time being here when was that building permit issued I think I remember it was in the 70s it's I, I don't have that information no. in, in front of me um, landowner has been there for decades. Is the um, He's not here, is he? No. I don't believe so. No. You don't have a, a copy of the license you're talking about? Um, I I have a single copy of it right now. I can get it to the commission if if that's what you're interested in is there a finished draft of that license that you're speaking of well it's been shared with the landowner right. it's my understanding that they are in the process of getting it signed and yep. notarized yeah and the only other so this is what the towns this is us we hold the cards of right. restriction we, right yeah so the coalition who, is the owner so who's going to hold insurance on this piece 
insurance. So what type would you like, referencing? Like what if a tree falls on it? Or what if someone so, goes okay. in, so what well, if someone goes in there and breaks an ankle and then tries to sue? Breaks in okay. Uh, in reference to the building itself? Yeah, well that possible if we're gonna let them use it or if it's a, an, well it's and then who's thing. gonna pay the taxes on it? Like are we gonna like well, so it's <laughs> nothing, yeah, uh, nothing it's, changes, right? Nothing nothing changes. He's currently paying the taxes on it. It's part of his tax bill. He's been paying it for decades. Um, and he's indemnifying us on the use of it. So if anybody, if there's any non non his use, non landowner use, and something happens, it's on him. You sure? It's in the it's in the license. Will there be trails near there so people will be going by it? The, uh, we don't. We have. Not, we're working on development of a trail system for the property. We don't. We don't anticipate the trail running along these frontage lots um, on that part of Matapoiset Road. This, as you can see on the prop, we own. We now own. The, so part of the story is that that green land to the east is the red brick farm west property that we acquired earlier or that we acquired last year as well and so there's connectivity to that property and we we don't have a specific trail developed yet it's coming but it is it's um it's actually i don't believe we intend to cross trips mill brook because um because of the sensitivity of the brook so Trails that might, and obviously, as you can see, there's that huge utility easement that, that crosses the north, the, at the north of the property. So that, that's a natural place to involve a trail as well because it's already wide open. So, so what, uh, but the, uh, the, what the license area is 3,500 square feet on a 58. Acre no, no, the problem so. is we gave him the light. Does he have? Does he have proof that he had permission from the previous owner? He's not claiming that. It's, it's if he had permission, possession. then there wouldn't be an adverse yeah, possession. Claim an adverse possession. Yeah. Right. So yeah. he didn't. That's yeah. You know, that that's you know. So that's just pretty much saying he's taking care of it. That's for, he's for making claim to that to that property is what he's. Basically doing. But the license ends that. No, I yeah, 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 right. I no, I just no, want to make I, sure I, that I, that well, it's understood. I realize he's, he's giving yeah. up that claim as part of this as part of this license. Um, as it as it happens, it's an existing condition at the time the conservation restriction was put in place. It's as if it's the same type of existing condition as the utility. Yeah. And use, the, honestly, on the license, does it say? Anything about um, who's going to be responsible for taking down this bar? Well, he has he it, it he has the opportunity to do so. If it's still there when the license ends, we as the landowner will remove it. So we we the coalition will be responsible for removing the property, oh, okay. removing the barn. No expense to the town. Yes. So we had, a, we had had a meeting on this. Um, I thought it was reasonable for everybody, all bodies involved. I just wanted, before I said, oh yeah, go ahead. I wanted the commission to discuss it and take a formal vote on it so that. Do you have a general idea of the footprint of that structure at all? Yeah, so the, it's approximately 500 square feet, like. Do you, do you know the footprint? Like We do, the, the footprint is shown on, on the, so on the second. Seven, well, that's 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 no, not that's, 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 oh, that's, that's not area. Here. yeah that's, that's not the actual area. that's why I was right. curious yeah, what the you know saying. just curious yeah no the, the and itself. and I it's my understanding that the permit issued allowed for about 500 square feet and he's added he's added on um, not significantly but he has so and what is what is the budget debate position on on this. Well, it, it, I mean, how did, how did, it know, brings it general. brings an end to the situation. It removes the adverse possession uh, right. case that right. could happen. No, I, 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 well, um, we're possible. Yeah, yeah. we're I mean, we're willing to allow the license 
because it, it does have a finality to it. Yeah. It's not for forever. Mm. It's not in perpetuity. What would be the problem if it was forever and he just kept it? It's well, well, he is getting to keep it. No, I'm saying forever. I, no, he's only getting to have use for his lifetime. Right. I know, but what, what was the problem that just because the barn was there? We're worried about 3,000 square feet? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, well, I don't think that the you know, conservation the, restriction the, doesn't allow structure. Right. I mean, why That's should they? That's what I'm saying. Right. right. But, but if we had to, never mind. It is what it but is. But this is this would bring a finality to it, and that yeah. we, if the commission's in agreement with it, we would re maintain the conservation restriction. And I would like, me personally, I'd like to conserve that land. Absolutely. Right. No, I think it's critical. You know. Right. So I, I just have one question. Yes, sir. Here at the end. When do we anticipate the actual signatures on this drawn-up document by this attorney? Well, so the, it's, it's my understanding that it has been sent to to the council for the landowner. Yeah. And I don't have an update, but I I'm not aware of there being any issues. It, um, a signature is required from a party who's not local. So um, I I think I don't know this, but I believe they're in the process of getting that other signature that they need. That's just from somebody who's not not here in a cushion. So you're you're getting a verbal confirmation on on well, you know all the really problem, yeah. right? The the document's the been process. agreed to um, with with council on both sides, and and the landowner has seen it, and he's he's, he's, it, he's amenable he's amenable to it. Did he sign? He didn't sign it yet, though. No. Was to get it? I I can't answer that. I don't know specifically if he has signed it. Let me just continue. Uh, why not? I will put a motion up to continue it till we get signed documentation that it's mm -hmm. ours. Yeah. Till it's I'll written and done. Motion. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. There's a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Um, well, I, I just got a question. Then is this gonna slow down your process? Were you looking for a vote from us first? I was. What I what I'm interested in is that you're supportive of this effort to get the license squared away and done. Um, that that's the vote I'm looking for. There's not a there's not a, a signature necessary from from the conservation commission on the on the license because the license is between the private parties. It's us and, and the landowner. Um, so I mean I yeah I'd like to get the vote tonight, but it's at it's at the commission's discretion, right? And so as I again unfortunately I don't know the exact timeline. I I think. We're marching forward to get this completed before the end of the month. I mean, as as far as I know, there's no holdups. We want to get it signed by the landowner. Back, we will sign it, and and that's it. It's a done deal, and we'll exchange cop signed copies. I hope for that. Yeah. Like, like I said, I still hold my motion right. just to make sure we have. Nothing changes. That's it. It's not been. A, we're not yay and nay, and it's just well, saying I want to see it in right. We're, we're only okay. showing support at this point right. for yeah, the right. process. Now I mean, we can that, that's when it's signed, and I can send the commission. We can just put I mean, back on the agenda. Maybe you don't have to come back. Maybe we can just. I mean, I'll, I'll motion that we. Well, show. There's, a mo there's a motion in a second. Yeah, you have to think about on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? Nay. I'm, I'm against. Yeah. Okay. So three and three. So motion doesn't pass. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to. Huh? Yeah, well, the motion doesn't pass. Yeah, so what? You can put it on the motion. No, that, that Eric's well, motion didn't pass. Yeah, Eric's motion didn't that's pass. That's right. The motion that we support this. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. what I was saying. I make a motion that we support the last second that. that. Property, mm -hmm. the process, the, yeah. between Buzzards Bay and the landowner, and obtaining the and sign license. Just keep us up to date when it happens. I think we'll be satisfied. Wait, 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 wait. Heidi, how did you vote? Yes. So you got one, two, three, three, and three. three four. Oh, it's four. How'd you get? Three? I thought. I know. What do you mean? You said yay. Yeah. Oh, I the voted no. Oh, you voted no. 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 Oh, yeah. So you voted was, no? I did. Yes. Oh, okay. That's yes, where I'm, I'm sorry. That's, That's right. my fault. Seven of them? I voted against Eric's motion. Okay, okay. so Eric, motion on the floor. Right. Everett, 
There's a second. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Opposed? Opposed? Yeah. Abstaining? Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Good. We're all good? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Motion, so motion passes. Yeah. Okay. okay. You have Great. our support. Yes. I appreciate I appreciate your your interest in hearing me out <coughs> and, and all this and uh, I will if we once Fine we get it okay. yeah, once we get it signed and, and everything, I'll be happy to share it with the with the commission. Of course. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time this evening. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Public hearing. Ann Rad. Ray White, 211 Middle Road, SE file number 001591. An abbreviated notice of resource area delineation was filed by Ray White for property located at 211 Middle Road, map 23, block 29, 29A, block 29B. The applicant is represented by Weston Sampson Engineers Incorporated. Plan name is existing conditions plan dated November 20th, 2023, revised March 18th, 2024. Review of matters presented, votes may be taken. I will entertain a motion to open this public hearing. Motion to open. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I imagine you guys are here for this project. Is everybody here mm -hmm. for this ANRAD? Okay, so to update you guys, um, we received the plans and, and what, it does, what it did for us, they issued the plans for all the wetlands on the property and none of us are wetland scientists, so we sent them to an engineer that represents the town and they're gonna review what they submitted to us. Um, because the engineer hasn't came back to us with his assessment of the plans, we're gonna have to continue this to the next meeting, which is April 24th. Um, the ad was already placed. Um, we had just found out from the engineer that represents the town to protect everybody in this room's best interest, I would say, um, that he hasn't been able to complete his review of the plans. So it, it'll be on our agenda for the next meeting. Um, Maybe we can make a note ahead of time. I don't know if it's, I don't know if the peer review is going to be done for the next meeting. Um, I would just advise everybody to go on the town website at the bottom of the page, subscribe to um, notifications in your email, um, and you can get the agenda from the Conservation Commission sent to your email. Soon, the minute it's posted, please write to your email and read that just to stay up to date with what's going on with this project. That's that's the engineer's not here. Um, or they can call the week of the 24th. Or, yeah, yeah, or, or feel free to call the office, yeah. conservation office. Joanne is very friendly, she'll she'll answer to anybody you know with questions. <laughs> and, yeah. She's, she's not busy. She's Just not call it one. Baby. Call it one. <laughs> um, no, it, but unfortunately, that's where we're at with the process. Um, it, it had been posted twice, and we had to open the hearing. Um, so you're saying it's going to be April 24th? April 24th is our next meeting. That's the plan. That's the, that's that's the, that's the, that's the plan. plan yeah. um, if our engineer doesn't get back to us on it, it'll be continued to the meeting after that. So if you if you guys want, just check in with conservation, sign up for those notifications if it's on our agenda, call in to Joanne and get the info and she'll let you know if if we've gotten peer review comments back. Um, okay. So yeah, and you know, I, I, this is just a, a abbreviated delineation of the property. It's not like set plans for what it's going to be. Either, you know what I mean? It's it's just laying it out in black and white what 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 do you have the what do i want to say the um the plans plans yeah uh, not the plans but do you have the the right to allow something to be built does it have to be passed by this board here it, it, there are wetlands on the property and in, in what will be what i assume is going to be proposed for the property will be coming in front of us yeah. as well yeah. It's part of the process. Part of the process. It is. This is just the initial part, One step. part of it. Yeah. Right. 
Well, I'd rather them take their time because it's very wet winds. Well, and that's, we that's just, that's we just don't right. want to be yeah, we, we're we, wet now. We, we don't want to be. You, you fellas just had a walk through. We, yeah, we had a walk that's through. That's correct. Right. We, we walked so, a yeah. substantial yeah. Yes. And I agree. And, you know, when we see the final the final plan. Yeah. And, we, and we, like I said, we have an engineer representing the commission in the town and they, they'll give us our feedback and, <clears throat> it go, and if there's issues, if there's a conflict, they'll be back and forth with right. the engineers and, and they'll hash stuff out and so that's just to keep you guys updated on the process, mm -hmm. where we're at. I, I know it, you're not going to get an about a notification for the next meeting, that's why I can't emphasize enough to just, you know, if you, you're, this is very important to you, make sure you call in, follow the agendas, and stay engaged. And that's that's the best way to do it. Yeah. But everything will be transparent. Yeah, because you know, over, over time it gets forgotten, and then you know, your voice don't get to be heard, or your questions don't get to be answered. That that's just pretty much where we're at with this project right now. You know, to, for full transparency, the best way to do is just follow along. It's easy on the website and, and contact conservation. And that'll keep you guys up there. You can stop and visit me again. <laughs> Pardon? You can stop and visit me again. Stop it. Make sure you bring coffee and donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, were, we were very pleasantly surprised how, how well you do your job. Thank very you. Very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very pleasantly surprised. Sure, great. <laughs> okay, so um, any, any other questions? No, it continues. And, and April 24th, you said? April 24th. No, we're going to continue. But, but we don't. Yeah, it's, it, now it remains open. No, so, yes, it does. Yeah, just yeah. motion to continue. Yeah, so I'll, I'll entertain a motion okay. to continue to our next meeting, April 24th, 2024. So moved. Second. Second. All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. That'll be continued. Okay. Do you have any, I'm sorry, do you have any idea what Ray Wright plans to do? What he'd like to, to put in that field? Oh. I don't know. We're going to have to. I. Curious, because a couple of years ago it was maybe um, uh, solar panels. Yeah. I, I, that I assume that. I assume that, that that is what the intention is. We can't. We yeah. can't. But we have no Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not a finish, we don't, we don't have a finished plan mm -hmm. in front of us. I can't sure. definitively tell you that. Yeah. I mean, plan, plans change all right. the time. Yeah. You know, we've had we've had ANRATs come before us that um, were for were for solar fields. They told us what it was going to be for, and those ANRATs have now expired. I just assume that since you know we we got it um, a couple of years ago, that that maybe you know yeah, we we, uh, we actually had this. meetings on the uh, the solar farm. I would say probably maybe six or seven years wow. now. Right. Or it's been a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It just sort of went by the way. Uh, the way uh, just, so I thought it was just forgotten. Mm -hmm. Something happened. Oh. Or, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. April 24th, we'll all find out, right? right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so if the town, if the town rules, uh, or the commission rules in favor of uh, whatever the uh, engineers come up with as far as wetlands and stuff like that. Right. Uh, that's our concern. That's this board. That's yeah. The that's concern that that, that would that would be with us. Yeah. That's okay. yeah. Ultimately. And and if it was then if there was a project proposed after the fact, it would probably involve planning and us right. as well. Coincide yeah. building. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next item. Public hearing after the fact, RDA. Bruno Pires told Matter Poison Road, an after the fact request for determination was filed by Bruno Pires for property located at 12 Matter Poison Road, Map 10, Lot 16. Applicant constructed a single family home located on the south side of Matter Poison Road, 5.34 acre lot. Construction included a single family dwelling, associated grading and utilities within the 100 foot buffer zone of the bordering vegetated wetland. The applicant is represented by Carlos Skilly. Sorry if I butcher it. Skilly. Of Civil Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Plan name is Subsurface Sewage Disposal System, dated June 30th, 2015. Revised March 8th, 2024. Review of matters presented. Votes may be taken. Uh, entertain a motion to open the public hearing. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. This is in your way here. How's everybody doing? Good, how are you? Good. All right, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, members of the commission, Carlos Sculte with CEC representing uh, Mr. Pyers, the owner of the property. He's with us in the audience as well. If there are any questions that come up? Uh, as noted in the introduction, uh, this is the after the fact request for determination of applicability. We were in front of the commission uh, a number of weeks ago, uh, basically talking about the project. Uh, this project had originally received a negative determination uh, based on plans that were submitted back in 2015. The negative determination had expired. Uh, the work had continued uh, and it was brought to Mr. Pyers' attention that uh, the work was being done without an active uh, decision uh, from the commission on the project. Uh, we had a site visit, we walked the site. Uh, after the meetings, it was discussed uh, about whether or not the project would uh, require a full notice of intent, or if the pathway should be to resubmit uh, another request for determination of applicability after the fact for the continued work. Uh, and we also discussed the applicability of the uh, stormwater management uh, regulations as it related to the need for submission of a stormwater permit. Uh, although I wasn't able to attend the last meeting, my understanding was that the guidance was that uh, we should submit for the ne negative determination with the request for applicability, as well as the uh, stormwater management permit not being applicable to the project based on the correspondence with the previous agent at that time. Uh, I think everybody's still familiar with the, the property and the project. Uh, if you need some more overview, I can provide it. Uh, but I can just walk you through the updated plan that we provided into the record uh, associated with this negative determination. Uh, so what we did add to the plan, and sorry if you can't see it on the TV here, uh, but we identified the extent of the, uh, the rock uh, wall that extends along the edge of the property. Uh, we are also now showing the stormwater infiltration chambers that were added at the request of the previous conservation agent. Uh, there are two uh, located here on the east side of the property, north is left on the page. Uh, and then there's one located at this end. We're showing how the roof drain system is tied into those chambers. Uh, for the recharge. Uh, and we also s provide some details on the canopy from the shed. The canopy used to be on the west side, now it's on the east side. Uh, and we also showed some detailing of the wall there. There's going to be some steps proposed as well as such a grade that gets down to the, the back area there. Uh, so basically just provided an updated plan showing the current state uh, of the project and what the applicant intends to uh, complete for the construction. Uh, we welcome any questions or comments along the way, but we are asking for a negative determination for the work uh, based on the history and, and the state of the project. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't have I don't have any questions. I, I support doing this. Um, you know, if this was a new filing coming before this commission, I, I've said it before. It, I feel like it should have been a notice of intent. Um, and it would have proceeded differently. This was previously approved by a, by another by the former commission before my time, um, and then even after the RDA had expired, the property owner was reaching out to the agent, and the agent was continuing continuing to give advice and say, you know, get creative, and you know, yeah, that's fine, and give approval through email. It's all documented. So ultimately. Um, I, I'd like to see a copy of the existing site conditions in our files so that we have it. Um, an example, recently I had to go do a, um, a septic write-off to go see if, you know, if it applied to us. And the plans were submitted um, and it showed, the, you know, it was probably about, I don't know, 50, 50 or 60 feet outside of the 100 foot buffer zone. And that 100 foot buffer zone went through the center of the house. Um, and, hmm. and there was no filings at all for the house. So the house wasn't built prior to 1972, yeah. the Weather Protection Act was enacted. Right. So, you know, at least, you know, these are on file, we have them, and there's documentation of it as opposed to, you know, having the plans that we did have or whatever. So that, this is, I thought this was the fairest way to. To proceed with it, and then you know, it, it's a it's a definitely a different situation than that I've acquired, I've experienced, and I thought this was the fairest for the property owner and 
and for us to have it recorded. That, that's really my comment on it. Um, yes, so are we just looking for a negative determination? Is that what we're looking for right here? Yeah, is there anybody from the public to comment on this property? No. Uh, I'll put a motion down. Well, stand by, let me... Um, I will um, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion. Is there a second? Second, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Eric, you wanted to make a motion? A uh, motion for a negative determination of what they presented to us. Uh, Is that the right way to put it? So, a motion for a negative determination after the fact for 12 Mad Boys and Road? Sounds a lot better than how I said it. Yeah. Okay. So that would be the case. There's, there's a motion? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm, I'm Opposed? I'll abstain. And there's one abstention. All right. Understood. Thank uh, you all for your time. We appreciate it, uh, especially working for Mr. Pyers. Or yeah, well, good. 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 Allowing us to move forward. So, thank you for your time. Uh, no, one abstention. Oh, I'm just one abstention. Yeah. Yeah, one abstention. He's on a cruise for the site of his way. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate you, know, you guys doing that for us. Um, so I'm on nothing, discussion, nothing, even nothing. Uh, hold on, I think that somebody oh. in here might want to talk about that. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. New business. Well, no, no. New business is something that's already been filed. Well, we have, we have uh, other business. What? Just, just, okay, we have... Um, I'm pretty sure it's all under Stormwater. Oh, okay. So, if you want to... Stormwater. My name is Stephen Richard. Uh, I live at 92 Payshot Street. And uh, my concern is... Uh, I've lived there, what, 27 years now? And... This is getting worse and worse and worse. My cellar has been flooded for over the last two weeks. I know we've had a lot of rain, but the water with the storm drain that are at the end of my street, it is not moving. Um, I can walk that whole length, and then, it, matter of fact, it takes a, a left and another. This is all along the um, power lines. Yep. Are, um, at the end of the flood street, and um, the storm drain runs kind of parallel with that, and it takes a, a left towards I think it's Tilly Way, and then it and then it goes um, I'm going to say north to Hathaway Road or Wing Lane, yep, or Wing Road, heading towards Scouts Point. It doesn't move. I've come on there now at at the road. There's a um, cul-de-sac that goes underneath the road, and there's all trees and stuff, and the water's just about moving. Up towards my end, it doesn't move at all. And my sump pump has been running since Thanksgiving. Understood. Now I've got two sump pumps, and I can't keep up with it. I understand, yes, the, the level of water has come up, because, we, yes, we've had a lot of rain. Like I said, I've been there 27 <coughs> years. Uh, about 15, 20 years ago, when we first moved in, that whole area of where the um, power lines are was all flooded. And I didn't have that trouble back then. And I know the town did quite a bit of work at the end of the road to try and alleviate that. But there's, like I say, where you take that quick left back into, I'm going to say, towards the development, there's... Um, a bunch of trees down, and I'm 67 years old. I can't be out there trying mm -hmm. to clean this out. Understood. I used to clean out what was there previously, but now it's just, and I've asked the power, uh, you know, the public works department and stuff to come down, look at it and stuff. And the way I look at it, because I've actually stopped at where the, there's now the solar farm at the old golfing range. That's after Scouts Pond. That's flowing like there's no tomorrow. Right. You know, and uh, uh, like I say, the, the um, and I know in the area, a lot of people are getting, well, their 
pumping, you know, um, trying to keep, I'm the last house on the right. I'm probably not the lowest end, but, um, and it's just, it, it's gotten, like I say, right now we've got, you know, a nice layer of water. Um, there's a hole in the floor from where the stairs went through. I have a constant river that's running, you know, a small stream that runs through the sump pump. And uh, it's just, uh, and I mean, between the house being cold, um, and I mean, last year I did some scrubbing for mold. Um, you know, and I understand, yeah, some of it is, okay, the water, but like I say, it's not moving. That's why we're having this problem. Steve, what's, what's your address? 92 Peugeot Street. Yeah, I got, I got that, okay. Um, so the, the town just had um, inspections done by the town's MS4 contract, the Conoco, went around, they created a new map of all the catch basins, all the storm drains, all that stuff, and they did inspections on them. Um, the selectmen just, they, I think they still have it on their agenda. Um, they're waiting for a final update on the whole map has been updated. It's brand new for 2024. So the you know when that meeting's going to be? It was like they, it's, it's been, they've already, um, Kevin McHugh had already came in and um, addressed the select board and they're just waiting on some final things and some water testing. They're doing other things. Um, I'm, I will I will reach out to the to the chairman of the select board for you okay. and, and see if there's any what in information that the MS4 contractor got from that area, if any, and I'll, I will see to it that that, that that's looked at because that that area we mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. down Tilly Way the we did a couple of pro couple of permittings down right. there. Correct. Right. The, the, um, the kid Aaron. Yep. From the fire department. And, and the same the same thing. The, there's been drainage issues in that area. Yeah. So now now that I don't want to say the town's taking it serious, but now that the town has allocated funding specifically for this, yeah, this this should be addressed immediately, if not sooner. Right? And Great. I agree. Because. Yeah. Uh, like I say, you know, previously it was like maybe this time of the year, you know, a couple of weeks. All right, no big, you know, nothing. But like I say, since Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I know. It's getting. I'm, I'm curious if this this was in, in the areas of concern. I haven't seen the report. They discussed okay. it. But um, I, I know that this, it's, I know for a fact. I would imagine so. I know for a fact that there's an issue in that okay. area of town. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think I think that, that if that was inspected, then okay. Is there? A, can I leave an email address to? Yeah. Either, uh, yeah. I'll, st I'll definitely. Okay. You can. Yeah, you can. Give me. I don't yeah. know if you want your email address on. No, it's no biggie. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the first two initials of our names. Adam, Sharon, and Steve. So it's A-D-S-H-S-T at Comcast.net. And that'd be- Is exactly there a catch base located in front of your home? At all? No, nothing. nothing. It's, no. It, where, um, where is the nearest catch base? Right at, uh, at 90, I'm trying to think, 91 or 93. No, it's that's, totally that, that's where it, it dumps out. Um, you know, it's like you come down, whoop, you come down the street, my house is here, and the pipe underneath the street comes down like this, and then it dumps out over here, probably about eh, 200 feet from my house. Yeah. And, and, uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Steve, I'll, thank I'll, you. I'll do, um, I'll do some research on that, because that, that area has been mentioned. I don't know, I can't remember if it was mentioned during the meeting, but I have heard for multiple people that there are issues in that area. Yeah. And I think that maybe I can help send a reminder that there yeah. are issues in that area. And like I say, um, some people keep saying, oh, it's the groundwater, the groundwater. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. But sure. the water isn't going anywhere. Yeah, but if there's so, any water. Yeah, it could, be, it could be roots, it could be obstructions, it could be yeah. a number of issues that are in that area. Like I said, I've watched some of it, and I know of 
the two, there's one, um, two years ago, my brother and I were gonna try and get in there and, and clean out trees falling over and stuff. And it's like, by the time it gets warm enough or whatever, it's all grown in, so it's even tougher, you know? Right. And like I say, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> but, None of us right. are. None of us are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, Steve, thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. Just keep checking in, Bob. Yep. Um, where would I look for more information on the uh, um, website? I don't know if the, I'll, I'll send you an email with the information I got. Like I said, it was, okay. I don't know if it was on, I, look at the selectmen agendas. I don't think it was the last meeting, it might have been the meeting before. Kevin McHugh from Conoco Engineers came okay. in and gave a presentation. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was. I think it was, wasn't I? Yeah, it was. It was the one before I missed it. Oh, it was? Oh. Yeah, so he, he, The one before two, last two, week? Yeah, two weeks yes. ago. The, not last week. No. no. One yeah. yeah, it said it says Kevin McHugh right. Um So yeah, there's an updated map, and because I know I, just, I went up on the site and saw the map and the catch basins yeah. and stuff it's like that, dots and whatever. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's antiquated. Yeah. That's old. Yeah, right. they have they have a new one, okay. and they were gonna they were gonna update the town. I don't know if that update to the select board has has been completed yet. Right. Okay. But I'll just keep an eye on but it. But I'll, I'll find out and I'll, I'll stay in contact with you to keep you updated on that. Okay. How do I do that? Have a good evening and uh, thank you. Yeah, maybe the too. warm weather will stay around. That's, well, yeah, that's <laughs> what we need as well, right? Yeah. 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 See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. See you tomorrow, Rain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, two more yeah, inches. No, so my sound yeah. will be humming again. Oh, oh yeah, wait till Friday. Um, okay. Okay. So, so scroll the record, man. Yeah, that area, that area is a serious issue. Yeah. Okay, uh, discussion agent updates. Other business. Okay, um, I'm just going to say I'll take partial blame for this ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, RDA Slocum Street, Town of Acushnet, Slocum Street infrastructure improvements. Due to an omission on the agenda, the request for determination will be held on April 24th, 2024 at 6 p.m. at the Acushnet Police Station located at 64 Middle Road. The P public hearing ad was placed in the Fairhaven Neighborhood News on April 4th, 2024. Um, so yeah. I, I don't, there's no votes that need to be taken. This will be on our next agenda um, on April 24th. Um, yeah, I, 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 I had the news and I didn't read it. I was focusing on other things. Joanne was yeah. waiting for yeah, me to I give her it. an update yeah. and it was kind of a little haywire before we posted it and it was, I, I overlooked this. Look, I looked at the agenda and, and, and Joanne call, called me yeah. and said, oops, I messed up. And, and luckily the um, the project proponent um, asked for a continuance. So, yeah. yeah, she. Yeah. she so um, that'll be on our next agenda, okay. uh, April 24th. Yeah, well, we just vote though to, to continue. Vote to continue. Because right. to keep the ad. Yeah. Well, Mr. Motion. Kelly suggested yeah. we do a it. A motion that we continue yep. to the okay. 24th. Yep. Okay. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You approve. That was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Um, yeah, that any other business that may probably come before the commission not reasonably anticipated? So I'll use this time to uh, inform the commission. I received an email yesterday afternoon from Jennifer Duquette from um, Robinson Road Solar. Um, she had asked me if um, it would be okay to start planting now, as opposed to, I think the dates it said, May to uh, September or something like that. Maybe November, I forget what it was. Um, anyways, I don't have a problem with it, but before I went ahead and said, go ahead, I wanted to run it by the commission. I don't know if it needs, if it's not on the agenda. I don't think it needs a formal vote. I just wanted a soft poll. I, um, I would say if they want to stop planting now to let them, but if it doesn't take, Right. Well, that that, 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 that that was you know, to keep doing it till right. 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 Well, that that was my sentiment that I was going to tell her. But I agree. I just wanted a soft poll from the commission before I I wanted you guys to know that you know I I don't have an issue with it. 
But that's that was what I was going to call it. Like, hey, if you don't yeah. like it, it's yeah, I can you. see, I can see where she's coming from. Yeah, yeah. because it's been the the, the, right. the one that's been mild. You know? and, not, and not even just that. If you look at the foliage, all the trees are already budding and yeah. all that. Right. And uh, you know, it's a good time personnel on site. They, they get the ball, manpower to do it. I, whatever the case may be, that's what she asked. I, I didn't have an issue with it. So right. I just wanted to ask you guys. Right. Sounds good. Go ahead. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Are you going to send yeah. something out to you? Yeah, I'll, I'll send her an email. I told her I would email her. Um, Give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. I mean, luck. Yeah. Okay. Um, future business. The next meeting for the Conservation Commission will be on April 24th, 2024. Um, executive sessions have been um, postponed from town council. I got a uh, notification this afternoon on that. So um, our next meeting will be on April 24th, 2024. Uh, no executive session. So no. I will entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.